After announcing her upcoming show on Netflix, Meghan Markle has been dubbed the new Brooklyn Beckham, focusing on celebrating the pleasures of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. In addition, Meghan and Prince Harry are gearing up to produce a new series delving into the world of competitive polo, seizing opportunities within their partnership with the streaming service. Nevertheless, the Mail on Sunday editor, Charlotte Griffiths, remains skeptical, drawing parallels between Meghan Markle and Brooklyn Beckham, who also ventured into the culinary realm. The show is thought to be in conjunction with Meghan's new brand launch, American Riviera Orchard. However, Miss Griffiths told GB News, the idea that they're not trading on the royal connections for this is for the birds, because although they're not directly slagging off the royal family like they were in the last Netflix show, who would possibly tune into a program about Meghan Markle cooking if it wasn't for the fact that she'd married into the royal family. She added. I've seen something circulating online, her last cookery show was a cooking toast she cooked toast about years ago. She revealed a recipe for toast which has brought her on it in a granny's favorite gem. I watched that, and it was a little bit like watching paint dry, if I'm going to be honest, so she hasn't got great form for cookery shows so far. I think that she and Brooklyn Beckham should probably be locked in a room together and just made to create. I think it's going to be really cringe. I know she's fond of cooking and it's a hobby, but she's not known to be a passionate cook. Miss Griffiths believes this new cooking venture could be an attempt from Meghan to soften her image, although she agreed that being perceived as ambitious was no bad thing. She explained, I think she's trying to soften herself down. Do you remember when she wrote the words on the bananas a few years ago? There have been times when she came over to the UK and she did a cookery book for Grenfell which was a really good cause, but I personally just didn't buy into it. I didn't buy into this soft and gentle Meghan. We know she's hard as nails and she's ambitious and ruthless. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but she isn't this softly softly gentle Meghan that she's portraying, I don't think, anyway. Comparing Meghan to Brooklyn Beckham is an insult to him. Brooklyn's embarrassed to have a name associated with him. Despite his endeavors, at least Brooklyn consistently engages in various culinary activities like making pasta and toasted sandwiches, showing improvement over time. Meghan's skills are perceived to be below his level. Brooklyn's seen as a gourmet chef compared to her. Meghan Markle and her husband were snubbed by Brooklyn Beckham and his billionaire fiancé, Nicola Peltz, for the wedding. Details of the pair's wedding had become public as Nelson Peltz became embroiled in a legal battle around a deposit of $159,000 that he allegedly paid for his daughter's wedding. And whilst the guest list included people like Gordon Ramsay and Eva Longoria, it seems the royal couple weren't invited, despite being rumored guests due to David Beckham and Victoria Beckham attending the wedding in 2018, and David regularly calling Harry a close friend. WhatsApp messages that have now been made public appear to show they were added to the guest list by Nicola's mother, Claudia Peltz. According to reports, Nicola and Brooklyn are not thought to have invited the couple, with messages revealing that when Claudia Peltz asks, Did Megan get an invite? Nicola replies, Who's Megan? Claudia responds, And Harry? Which seems to reference the Sussexes, 